Oh, by the way, guys, check out my socks. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always wearing my Cujo's. Cujo's. Cujo. What's going on everybody? This is James with That's Right Lawn Care. Welcome back to the channel. Got a crazy video for you today. <laughs> so, had something come in the mail the other day and I ordered it Monday night or Tuesday night. I can't really remember. It doesn't really matter, but it came in yesterday, Friday, and I'm really excited about it. And this is going to help me save my back. So, we're going to do a how-to install video, but it's not going to be like your regular how-to install videos because I do not know how to install this, and we're going to learn together. So, if you'll sit back and watch, maybe we'll learn something. Both of us. All four of us. However many of y'all are watching. Let's do it. Alright guys, so here's the box. I'm not sure if you can guess what's in it, but I'll go ahead and tell you. It's an easy gate lift. So, let's uh, dump this thing out and see if it came with any instructions. Okay, so from what I can tell, there's a tube with a spring in it and a chain and a bag. Bag full of hardware. So let's get to looking, figure out what's in here. So there's a bunch of hardware in the bag. These, I'm guessing, hold the tube. This looks like maybe instructions. It is instructions. So, I ordered this from TrailerRacks.com. I've got the mobile app on my phone, and uh, it looks like Ballard shipped it. Anyways, what we're going to need, a 5 16 drill bit, a 1 half drill bit, 3 quarter inch wrench, a half inch wrench, and a straight screwdriver. i gotta run up. I got to run in my toolbox and get some stuff. You guys, we're going to go ahead and read these instructions. It says, thank you. Your satisfaction with this product means a great deal to us here at Ballard Equipment, blah, blah, blah. Caution, expect parts, blah, blah, blah. The easy gate can be mounted in approximately 40 minutes with 10 easy steps. Caution, inspect parts and compare it to the list provided. Remember, the eye bolts has tension and could spring back and cause injury. To avoid injury, make sure the open end of the eye bolts face away from tension. It's not recommended to increase the tension for what you may believe it will be lifting the gate by drilling different holes in step number nine. However, for heavier gates, it may be necessary to drill at one inch or two inches higher on the gate. Special notes, some trailers may need to be modified at the end of the top rail. Mounting can be done on either side of your trailer. Well, let's figure it out. All right, I got my tools. Step number one, marking the drill specs. Measure 90 inches from the rear of the trailer top rail and drill one half inch hole in the center of the top rail. Every hole from this point on will be towards the trailer. Okay, so we've got a measuring tape. Get on the top rail. Thank you. 90 inches and we will go center of the top rail. So right there. About right there. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a screwdriver and just kind of scratch it. All right, now I'm gonna start with a pilot hole. I'm just gonna use a smaller bit. in there. No turning back. Half inch holes in. Okay, so from this point on, every hole is going to be towards the rear of the trailer. So, every hole is going to be this way. And we're going to start measuring back from the, from the half inch hole 
down. So we're gonna put a six inch from the half inch hole and drill a five sixteenth hole centered in the top rail. So I'm gonna go from center to center six inches. And that's center enough. Six inches, five sixteenths. From that point on, after the 5 16 hole, we're gonna measure back 30 inches from the 5 16 hole and drill a second 5 16 hole centered in the top row. And then from that point, we will measure back again 30 inches. So another 30 inches from our first 30 inch hole, measure it 30 inches back and put another 5 16 hole. All right, so those holes are drilled out and now step two, ready to mount your clamp brackets in the three 5 16 holes. When you mount the clamp brackets, be sure the square opening is inside and then track the bolt with the washer to the outside, then secure the lock nut on the bottom of the rail. Okay, let's do it. All right, I've got those on, about to go underneath them and put the washer and the lock nuts on. Let's knock that out. Okay, so for various reasons, I'm not gonna snug those up completely, 100%, just so that whenever I get the tube on there, I can make sure everything's straight. Then I'm gonna go back through and tighten everything down. Torque to spec. All right, I've got our clamp brackets on. They're not 100% tight. I can still move them around if I need to, but they are mid-snug. Spread the clamps wide open enough to set the housing in place. Near the first hole, you drilled a half an inch. Well, let's put it in, see what it looks like. Well, I guess at this point, I'm just about done with the directions. I'm having to do stuff pretty much makeshift. Uh, so it comes with an extra nut, as you can see. It's hard to do one-handed right here so i went ahead and threaded it all the way up just to get it up a little bit because i already know this is thin like real thin and the threads are not going to go as far up the eye bolt as i'm going to need them to and i'm pretty sure that's why they put that in there if not and i end up needing that nut i'll uh, run up to ace it's right up the road and i'll grab another nut but time being we're gonna do that and of course the fender is in the way so i went ahead and drilled another hole down there just for the eye bolt to continue going through i'm gonna get this tightened up it's gonna take me a minute but <laughs> i'm ready to get this done it's getting hot outside all right so after about 10 minutes of tightening that's on there that just doesn't look right i think that's supposed to be upside down which would in turn mean that this is gonna be facing the other way, which is clearly in the paper what they say not to do. So if this doesn't work out very well, I'll probably send it back and get a Gorilla Lift. The only thing with Gorilla Lifts is I couldn't find just a single Gorilla Lift. Anyways, I'm down here. I'm um, putting this little rolly thing on. Let's turn to the paper and see what they call it. The cable roller assembly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is flush it up with the back of the top rail of the trailer which is going to be sitting directly on top of this but whatever i'm going to mount it exactly where it says to mount it and with everything mounted right now for some reason i think this is supposed to be a little longer I'm not sure if it's something i did or something i misread on the directions i pretty much followed the directions but Anyways, as soon as I get that mounted down, we will pull this out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so I've got the roller assembly exactly where it needs to be, flush with the back of the top rail, dead center-ish, close enough. Uh, I guess what we're gonna do is just kinda give a couple of drills and mark, and then we'll waller them out. Well, we got that roller thing set up. Uh, that was a breeze getting this pulled on the other side. I'm think for some reason I'm thinking it's already got a lot of tension on it. But what I'm gonna do 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hole drilled out up here, get the eye bolt in, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stretch it up as much as I can just to get it to where it's not sitting like this all the time. I wanna get it to where this is actually on a roller so it's not eating away and scratching all the time. So we'll get it pulled up. We'll see what we can get. All right, guys, I'm gonna teach y'all a quick little trick right here. If you're ever doing an eye bolt of this size and it's like long and you're needing to get it on there, you take your wrench, put it on the nut, get you a, a ratchet with a long socket like this put it on reverse or uh, loosen, whatever you want to call it. Go to town. All right, now that we got our eye bolt set up where it needs to be, we'll pull some of the slack out of this and try and get it hooked up there. Let's see how it works. I think I'm gonna take one link out and see what we get. So right off the bat, an issue I can see myself running into is having this pinhole right here. Um, that's, that's how my gate locks. You put the pin down in there in between here and I can see it rubbing on that. I know that that is gonna eventually eat this chain up. So what I'm gonna do, and I do not recommend this to anybody, do not recommend any of y'all to do this, but <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just cut it off. So, I figured I'd need my saw for something today. And it looks like it is gonna come in handy, so I am gonna cut it out. Uh, again, you don't have to do this to your trailer. This is my trailer. I don't care, so I'm gonna do it. But first, wanted to see Why y'all are looking way up there at the sky? Look over here. Pay attention. Wanted to see. You're a little crooked, but it's alright. Wanted to see if I could just use my foot, and kick it off. Now it's a lot easier now. I mean. It is saving my back for sure. Easy to pick up. Install really wasn't all that hard. The most time consuming part, I would have to say, is <laughs> tightening that nut right there. That was probably the most time consuming part. Also, I'm still kind of curious about this whole thing right here, if that's, if it's supposed to be the other way around. All right, so we got that piece cut off. Now it's not gonna rub. Got plenty of clearance. So I'm gonna lift it up. And I no longer need two pins. So that'll make this a lot easier also. All I gotta do now is drop the one pin in. I'm gonna say good to go. So if you want your sticker anywhere on this easy gate, address is in the description below.
P.O. box. Send me a couple of them if you haven't sent me one already. If, you've ha if you have sent me one and you want to get another one on the Easy Gate, just send it down below if you want to do a sticker swap. Message me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, come check me out. I don't post a lot, but... How in the world did I get grass on there? Anyways, um, yeah, so it's all set up. It's functional. It works. I like it. Um, if y'all haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.